Just in regards to the whole housing fund, etc. I mean, are you planning to build 6,000 houses over the next five years, like per year, so 30,000 houses? Wouldn't it just be simpler to lower the immigration rate, not create a whole new department, not risk the $10 billion and attract for, and you know give tax incentives to foreign investors? Wouldn't it just be easy to lower the immigration rate and uh, simplify everything? Well, I, I think that's quite complex because if you lower the immigration rate, you will have less of a workforce to build houses as well. Like there is a there is a balance here, and as well as less labour supply to other important parts of the economy. So, but fifty percent uh, of the immigration is foreign students. They're not building houses. They're at university. That's right, and and there are different different segments of the migration in intake um, put pressure on different parts of infrastructure and housing across the country. Students have a different sort of profile to to others as well. So. I think um, we, we need more houses no matter what, to be honest, and, and the government's um, supply side initiatives are designed to stimulate that action, noting that a lot of these belong to the states and territories. Um, but I think there is a careful balance to be struck around migration and the benefits that it brings and oh, the pressure that it that. That brings as well. <laughs> but I'd argue that it would be easy. Anyway, I'll just leave it at okay. that. Thanks, Jeff. Authorised G. Rennick People First Chermside.